So I think we'll continue with probably the less exciting portion of the junior high's presentation. Um, I believe Sean is getting that up and ready to go. Um, and and just to note, I just asked Sherry as well, um, how many students were in the musical? 78 students total involved in the musical. And please know the students run everything. They run lights, they run sound. Um, you know, so the final performance, it is hands off from adults and, and all on for students. And they just do a fantastic job. Working on it. <laughs> I can't sing, or you don't want me to sing or dance to fill, fill the time. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. So I believe, Larry, you have that. TV3 does have that, though? They do. Yep, they do. We just double backed up this time. We got it. So. There we go. Great. Cool. Uh, so again, my name is Lori Catneys. I'm the principal at the junior high school, and tonight I'm also presenting with Gabe Sheft. He's the assistant principal at the junior high as well. Um, and we can go on to the first slide. And so just as an introduction to the junior high school, um, we do have a team structure. We work with students in grades six, seven, and eight. And each grade level has two teams. So for example, when students make the transition from Harriet Beecher Stowe School, um, they, can, they will be placed in either Bailey or Birch. Um, and every team is comprised of four core teachers, so English, math, science, and social studies. And then teams also include um, four to five other teachers who who may teach French, Spanish, phys ed, um, and that comprises the team. And so those eight or nine teachers are the advisors for that team, and we'll talk more about the advisory program in a moment. Along with teams, when students come to the junior high, they travel in a cohort. So students who come to the junior high on Birch, in seventh grade, they go to Great Diamond Island and eighth grade Eagle. Similarly, if you come into the junior high on Bailey team, in seventh grade, you'll be on Jewel, and on eighth grade, you'll be on Shabig team. And part of that cohort system is put in place for student support um, and also communication from grade level. And our school counselors also follow students for all three years of their time at the junior high. Some other highlights from teams, our team teachers meet one to two times a week to talk about inter interdisciplinary units um, and talk about student supports um, and our team and other cross-curricular activities. And we also do a lot of team-based celebrations. So for example, each team does their own student of the month celebration um, and they also do shout outs. So students who receive student of the month get a medal, a certificate, and they also get a $10 gift card to Pat's Pizza. So thank you Pat's Pizza for helping us sponsor our Student of the Month program. In regard to academics, as I mentioned before, uh, our four core academics, math, science, social studies, and language arts, so we have two teachers at each grade level for science and social studies, and we have three teachers at each grade level for language arts and math. Um, and one of those teachers at each grade level is an RTI, so response to intervention teacher. They teach a class and they provide small group intervention support. Similarly, we have uh, built in um, planning time each week for teachers to meet with their um, subject area partner from the other team just to ensure consistency in programming. Um, and just some highlights, you can go to the next slide. We have some photos as well. Um, we have in, uh, we have book clubs for language arts, the spelling bee. Recently, they read to build a fire and partnered with the fire department outside and built fires outside. Um, and last year, there was also the extra large poetry. Math, one of the highlights of the year is always the math trail where sixth grade descends upon downtown Brunswick uh, for lots of math activities. Science is focused a lot on science labs. We also had a science day this past fall where we had science professionals come and present to all of our classrooms. Um, and we're also hosting Space Day on May 5th. Lastly, social studies at the end of the year, a celebration of learning will highlight um, uh, Artifacts Museum. Seventh grade focuses on temples as a hands-on activity. And for some of you who may know, this coming Tuesday, February 14th, is Bio Day uh, for Eighth Grade Biography Day, where our students take on the persona um, of 
someone from their choice for, from history and there's a parade, a celebration. They present to sixth and seventh grade classrooms and it is a lot of work. So if you know an eighth grader, please cheer them on for bio day next week. We also have diversified studies, which are listed on the slide. Um, and we have a variety of opportunities. And a few that I wanted to highlight uh, for French and Spanish, we offer exploratory French and Spanish for sixth grade students. Seventh and eighth grade students can choose to take two years of French or two years of Spanish at the junior high school. And that prepares them when they go to high school to start in French two or Spanish two if they choose. Uh, and again, as you saw tonight, we have a very robust music program. All sixth grade students receive general music. We have 157 students total in band, and please know 85 of those students are in sixth grade. Um, so whatever HBS is doing for band, please keep it up because we have some really great numbers. Chorus, we have 120 students, students total. The other DST that I'd like to highlight this evening is our brand new community outreach class for eighth grade students. Um, again, thank you to the board for supporting our halftime community outreach coordinator and athletic director this past year in the budget. Uh, Bonnie Robbins fills this role and she does a really incredible job. And so the community outreach class works with our eighth grade students on self-selected projects where they're working with the community. And that has ranged from um, supporting our transition to the Dragons and bringing back the school store. There's one project in process right now. Students have also fundraised money to donate to local, to the Humane Society um, and other local organizations. And so the whole premise of the class is how can we become engaged in our community how can we learn to problem solve, work together, and really become civic, civically minded citizens? Oh, and this was just, um, I should have transitioned this earlier, just a nice slide with some more pictures. Um, we can go to the next slide. Uh, and so Mr. Sheft is now going to talk about um, kind of our multi-tiered systems of support that we have at Brunswick Junior High School. Th thank you. Uh, we have a wide range of uh, programs and positions to support the diverse learners um, of the Brunswick community. We recognize that meeting students where they are, uh, making sure that they know where we, they, we want them to go, uh, and showing them how to get there as a proven framework for educating the whole student. Uh, we offer specialized high quality supports to our ESOL program, talent development, uh, all our alternative education program, Project X, um, as well as our special education department. Uh, through our multi-tiered system of supports, we offer RTI services in math and reading for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, as well as RTI behavior supports for students uh, with challenging behaviors. Um, in addition, newly created this year, we have a grade-wide common intervention uh, and enrichment block, which occurs every other day in which we call what I need, or our win block. Um, during this time, students work with their core teachers as well as other learning supports in the building on what they need. Uh, through the hard work of our teacher teams, this program continues to grow and evolve um, to, meet the f to flexibly meet the needs of our students. Um, this work in sixth grade tends to be really teacher uh, driven, and as students move into seventh and eighth grade, the model becomes more student driven where students are learning to uh, self-assess self their needs and seek supports available to them in the school. Um, I would say one of the cornerstones um, of our student support system is our advisory program. Uh, each year, team leaders and school counselors thoughtfully group students uh, to, and, and assign them an advisor. This group of 11 students or so um, start and end their each and every day for the duration of the year with this teacher and this group of students. Um, advisors work throughout the year to build relationships, develop a sense of belonging uh, within their small group and to the greater junior high community. Um, a student advisor is a trusted adult who can answer questions, advocate for them, seek additional supports uh, if they need, communicate with parents, and just generally be there for them. Um, they are like the point of contact for all things Brunswick, Brunswick Junior High for your students. Um, another comp component of our advisory program is our social emotional learning block. Uh, we use a program called Second Step as a framework to engage students in lessons covering important topics uh, such as mindset 
mindset, goals, recognizing bullying and harassment, uh, identifying thoughts, emotions, and decisions, managing in relationships and conflict, and uh, students do this work uh, with their advisory group uh, every Wednesday. Um, if our advisory program is the cornerstone of student support, then our counseling department is our beating heart. Uh, the school counselors and social workers offer individual and group counseling sessions. They uh, support um, they support our students' social and emotional well-being, and they're always, often a conduit to a whole host of water supports in the Brunswick community for kids and for their families. Um, they do social skills groups, lunch bunch groups, conflict resolution, restorative practices, mental health assessments, um, and they partner with outside advocacy, group, advocacy groups uh, to provide grade-level learning opportunities on topics that are important to 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Great. Uh, thank you. And again, Mr. Sheft and I work, we work, we really, really work well together as a team. And so thank you for um, that part about student support. And next, just to talk about our staff. Our staff is incredible, pun intended. Um, and we're really, really fortunate to have the staff that we do. And so looking at or thinking about our staff development, we do rotate team meetings, department meetings, and whole staff meetings. This year, our whole staff meeting focus uh, for professional development has been on technology, arts integration, and special education. Um, our department meetings, the professional development focus in each department has been varied this year. In math, it surrounded a book study called Building Thinking Classrooms. Social studies also did a book, or they are also engaged in a book study around teaching historical thinking. Science has focused really wholly on Gizmos, which is an online simulation tool. And language arts has focused this year on data and ways to dig deeper um, and improving practice based on student-centered discussions. And lastly, I just want to highlight we did take a staff field trip for our last meeting to Ruth's Reusables in Portland. Ruth's Reusables is a warehouse in which we purchase a subscription. And that, with that subscription, our teachers can go and shop for free. Um, and they can get any materials that they need for their classroom. Sometimes it's binders or notebooks. And as a school, we also have access to Ruth's Reusables Warehouse, where I can tell you this year I've gone down to get more than 10 whiteboards to replace the whiteboards in our building. Um, same, similarly with cork boards, brand new conference table, chairs. Um, there's really just standing desks. There's a plethora of materials that we're able to get there with our subscription. Um, and we had a really great time, and we also had bus snacks on our field trip. I would be remiss um, in our presentation today if I also didn't acknowledge our community uh, partners and collaborators at the junior high. I've never really seen anything like this. Um, please know that I, I walked in this position at the beginning of last year, and over the last two years, the amount of community support and partners that we have is really, really overwhelming. Um, one of the partners, Bowdoin College, um, I miss putting the polar bear on there, but I do want to recognize them. We have Bowdoin tutors and uh, mentors in our building on a weekly basis. Midcoast Hunger Prevention does produce fresh produce Fridays once a month where all of our students have access to fresh produce. They go down and they're eating green peppers like it's an apple. Um, Midcoast Hunger Prevention also sponsors our food pantry. We've had speakers at Curtis Memorial Library. We've had field trips to Region 10. The Telling Room is currently working, uh, sponsored by our talent development department, but working with identified talent development students and other students who have a passion for writing to put together a book. Um, Seeds of Independence, we have mentors who work with at-risk youth after school. Um, we also, sorry. Next one, sorry. Um, Brunswick Parks and Recreation has also been a fantastic partner. Right now, they're sponsoring a Teens to Trails Club once a week after school. They also sponsored a fly tying workshop at the junior high last spring. Brunswick Community Education Foundation um, sponsors a number of grants for our teachers. Teen has sponsored our entire clothing closet where students can access clothes at any time that they need. It could be boots, it could be a jacket, it could be pants. Um, and similarly, Pathways. Um, church uh, sponsors our Friday food bags that we send home with students. And I'm sure that I have missed someone, so if there's a community partner out there and I missed you, I deeply apologize. 
And lastly, again, I wanna come back to students and student engagement, students taking on leadership roles. And so we have student engagement during the day um, through academics and beyond the school day, we have over 20 clubs and groups that students can choose to join. We have three seasons of athletics. Our new athletic director has also become a real champion of access and expanding athletic opportunities for students in grades six, seven, and eight. Um, this is, this um, banner was made by our civil rights team um, for their day of welcome, which is really fantastic. Similarly, pictures here highlight our, some of our athletic teams, our spelling bee winners. I also wanna point out our Queer and Allies Club promotes inclusivity. They're involved in Brunswick Pride. And in March, they'll be recognized at the State House because they were invited by Senator Maddie Daughtry to be um, recognized there for all of their work on inclusion. Also, students taking the lead. Uh, our student council presented in front of you earlier this year they really led the way of um, changing from Huskies to Dragons. They also run our daily announcements and they sponsor our Spirit Week. So we have a Spirit Week coming up next week and a February Fun Friday with all sorts of activities next Friday. That's all sponsored by students and student driven. And lastly, we're really thrilled to have that student run show um, present to us after. And there's one more slide with some pictures just to share. Oh, there's one more after that too. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Thank you so much, this is really great. Um, and so many wonderful things happening. So it's, it's really nice to have a chance to hear from you both about it. Are there any questions for Ms. Katniss or Mr. Schuft? We think you're doing a great job at the junior yeah. high. Thank you for your hard work. Well, thank you. It's easy to do when we have such a great staff, so please please know that too. Thank you. Erica. Uh, yeah, I just wanna say again, thank you so much, and uh, I just really love this new tradition of students coming and performing for us. <laughs> I feel like the bar just keeps getting raised, and uh, I am absolutely here for it, so thank you. I, I know I totally stole the idea from Heather, and she said steal away, so yes, I love that she started that. <laughs> yes. I'd rather die. It's been, it's been really great. And I just wanna say, when you walk in the school, there's a welcoming environment, you can feel that, and I really appreciate both of your leadership in helping to create that, so thank you. I'd just like to add, having two kiddos going through there, um, just how, just what a welcoming environment it is, and, and kids with special interests can find what they wanna do because there's so many things offered there, so neurodiverse students who have really, you know, their, their niche can find something, which is wonderful. Um, you don't see that everywhere, so thank you so much. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think four of us have at least one, if not two students in your school right now, so we know, we know what you're doing. <laughs> thank you so much. Great, I just wanna again thank Lori and Gabe and thank the, the, um, the students and Ms. Borsage and Ms. Tarleton for um, their, their play performance tonight. I went Thursday night and I was blown away. I often bring my partner and she wasn't able to make Thursday night and I was like, you missed a great one. It was so good. I, I'm just, I was, and those of you that attended, Coffin Gym was packed. So um, kudos to all them. Um,